Alright boys and girls, so today I think we'd show a little difference in pistons. Just in case anybody's out there wondering what stroker pistons are and what the terminology A, B, and C mean. If you're looking at parts catalogs, you'll see them listed as sometimes just stroker, sometimes you'll see them listed as A, B, and C. So, what we have here is this is a stock 83 millimeter, um, 1500cc piston right here. Alright? And as you can see, it's got a quite a tall height here for the pin height. So the pin height is from measured from the top of the piston to the center of the wrist pin. All right, and a stock um, setup is around 40 millimeters, give or take a little bit. Each brand might be a little bit different, but you know that's pretty much the general area. You're going to be about 40 millimeters from the top to the center of the pin. This would be considered a stroke. So when you see a set of 94s for sale, either they're used or new, and it says 94 A, right? That's what that means. That means that this pin height will work with your 69 stroke stock 69 crank and not require any shims or any other work to do. So it should bolt together pretty much like a stock motor. Um, you can use these in mild stroke applications. You could probably in all reality, if you don't make, want mind making your life crazy, you could use these in whatever you want. But, realistically, you know, 74, 76 millimeter strokes is pretty much the limit with this. Yes, you could put more, but you're going to be doing a lot more work. Um, what you're going to definitely have to do is add shims underneath the cylinder. Because if you put like a 74 stroke with this piston, the piston is going to stick out at the top of the cylinder 2.5 millimeters. So you're going to have to put some shims under the cylinder to get that correct. But also the next thing is when this thing comes back down the cylinder, you can run into the problem of the counterweights hitting the bottom of the skirt, and this area will not clear in between the rods usually is what another place you have to narrow. Um, cast pistons apparently are more prone to that. The forged mollies clear better, but I still think you have to do work. I know that Hot VWs about, my goodness, almost 20 years ago built a... 78.4 stroke or 78.8 stroke I think it was because it was scat was selling a brand new crank and they were using that with a set of 85.5 molly forge pistons and in that article they showed you how to build a 1800 cc bus motor um, and they had to do quite a bit of whittling in this area all right now since we're on that section of a stroke and b stroke let's go to b stroke Let's use a real Volkswagen piston. This is a 94 B stroke piston. So what that means, this is a 94 bore with the pin height set for a stroker crank. All right, and what we'll do is we'll put the wrist pin in each side here, and you can see, there we go. Hopefully, back here, you can see the difference in the, the height. Do I have that lined up enough? I don't know. But there's a good four or five millimeters of difference in the height here. So what they've done is if you look at the ring patch, you'll see it the easiest. All right, you see the oil control ring? See how close the wrist pin is here? Over here, see there's quite a bit. There's a good seven, eight millimeters. And over here, there may be about four millimeters between the wrist pin and the ring pack. So what they've done is they moved the piston pin up in the bore. In the cylinder and B stroke pistons have typically a um, compression height of 34 to 35 millimeters so from the top of the piston down to the center of the wrist pin is around 34 35 depending on the brands I've heard different bores for some reason have a different pin height I'm not exactly sure why but that's what I've heard but that's where they kind of run so this is a B stroke and this is an A stroke now there is another piston called a C-stroke. Majority of people will not be using a C-stroke. A C-stroke piston is the same principle as this. Um, wait, we'll go back one step here, one step back. So also another thing you see is the um, B-stroke pistons usually have a shorter skirt design due to they know that this is going to be in a piston that's going to be used in a stroker motor. So we've by moving the pin height up, We've solved the problem of the piston sticking out of the top of the cylinder, but that's only half the problem. When we come back down into the in, towards the crank, 
this piston is riding more in towards the crank now because you know if you add a 82 stroke you're adding 13 millimeters six and a half millimeters go out six and a half millimeters come back in so to alleviate that problem they make the skirts narrower and you can see this one's narrowed right here and it's really short this is a slipper skirt piston which is even shorter than like a regular molly a regular molly will be all the way around and the pin the skirt will be a little bit longer than this but not like that so that's how they solved that problem so there's two things going on with a stroker piston it's got a taller a shorter pin height and a narrower and shorter skirt so a C stroke is basically the same deal we're going on the same route here it's going to be a, a narrow skirt like this it's going to be a short skirt and the pin height is going to be farther up all right and those pin heights this one is not a C stroke but it's pretty darn close a C stroke piston pin height the wrist pin will actually be underneath the oil control ring all right and you'll have to put the pin and the rod in before you put the rings in because the clip has to go in back there and the clip does not ride where the rings ride it rides behind it all right and when they do that you're going for a much larger stroke that's going to be like an 86 stroke with like a 5.7 inch long rod that's that's total in all reality I'd say you're on ultimate street car slash, you know, race car territory. Most people don't go that big. They don't use 88 strokes on the street. They don't even drag race usually with 88 stroke. That's something where you're, you're building a very custom machine. All right. So most people won't see that, but this piston would be closest example I have to that. As you can see, this pin height is almost to the ring pack. Now, what this is, is what... Hot VWs wanted to use years ago, but they didn't have available. So when they were building that motor with a, 80, a 78 stroke and a stock bore piston, they didn't have a stroker piston for a stock bore. That's what this is. This is the AA 85.5 um, stroker piston. All right, and as you can see, the pin height is a little bit different than this one over here. I don't know if I can show you guys, but there's probably another two millimeters. This is down in all reality on pin height. Okay. So if that's 35, this is probably like 33, 34, somewhere in that range. Anyways, this little guy is not a Volkswagen piston. This is something they found out in the wonderful world of automobiles. All right, this is probably out of like a Asian car, you know, because they usually like a Toyota or a Nissan. I'm not sure where they found this, but if you look at the design underneath at the pin boss area here, you can see this is not what a Volkswagen piston kind of looks like. Usually our pin bosses are round. Um, usually it's more open, not chunky here. Um, the skirts are usually longer and wider. All right, this has got really, really narrow skirts. Um, the pin boss is really massively huge, and this all leads me to believe this came out of something else because this is not um, a high selling, high volume piston. This is something that is kind of a niche market in the Volkswagen community. Most people just go and buy a bigger bore and a bigger stroke, and these pistons are reflective of that. They've made special molds and castings to do that. And these are AAs, so they're knockoff kind of like a Wiseco and Slash Molly Pistons. You know, they had something to go by. These things here, I believe, came out of some sort of water cool car because water cool cars in the 80s and even 90s until now have a small board, large stroke. So they're already built, which is why they have the very narrow skirt, they have the very short pin height, and they have the board that's kind of our setup here. So I thought you guys might like to see this. This is what we're going to be using in our 1800cc motor. Um, this is what's going to allow me to be able to build a not a normal setup, but this is what's going to be able to let me build a motor. It's not going to be crazy wide. All right. The um, cylinders are actually even got a shorter skirt on the stroker pistons for 94s but for some reason these do not they actually use just like a stock cylinder so there will be some trimming i'll have to do on the cylinder base as where with a stroker 
94 board, I would not have to. Anyways, boys and girls, I thought that was interesting. I thought you'd like to see it. Um, I haven't measured the ring gap on rings on these. I think they're two to two on these. And that's probably a four or five. I can't tell offhand. But, um, you know, I don't know if regular Volkswagen rings fit in there. I think they do. But I think this is something they got out of some other water-cooled car that was like maybe a 86 bore, and they just milled it down to 85.5. You know, they just machined it a little more. Anyways, get out there and let's work on our projects. Let's get our cars going. I'm going to try and uh, keep up on this project, and uh, hopefully we'll have this done sometime just after the beginning of the New Year's, what I'm hoping for. But get out there, stay warm, and have a Merry Christmas.